fellows, <laughs> the cope is fucking real. Now, this video is more of a um, wake-up call for me than anything valuable for you. If you're in a very similar, like, specific situation, I guess it'll help you. Um, but other than that, don't expect that much from this one. It's just kind of as an accountability marker for me here. So, the title of this video um, is most likely longer than the other fucking titles and is more specific. And uh, it's probably gonna be something like, you know, shit's you know, shit's going downhill when um, a freshman tells you to step it up, or something like that. Now, as many pedophile jokes as can be made, none of them apply here because what am I talking about? I'm talking about uh, this one girl, and how I have just been fucking terrified of um, asking for a number and asking her to do anything. In the past, the fuck? Okay, that was just the wind. Um, and how I've been terrified of asking her to do anything. Um, just basically ripping off the band-aid of whether or not, hello, uh, sex, yes or no. And then, instead of just letting her fucking circle the yes or no, um, <laughs> I'm not even giving out the form, bruh. I'm just, uh, <laughs> stagnating. And that's not very good. Because regret is always worse than rejection, all these concepts, you know. That you fucking know the basics if you're sticking around for this video. And so basically what ended up happening... Um, in volleyball practice, fucking season's over, uh, high school, so it still, like, counts as a period, but the season is over, so I, I guess it's not really practice, we just have a fucking free period, along with all the other sports, and I talked to one of my friends about this incident, because I genuinely do think this girl is fucking beautiful, epic, nice, actually intelligent, and, like, would be very nice to, um... I don't know, you get something going with, right? Uh, and I'm talking to my friend about this, like, shit, bro, I just... Because I'm not, like, total autist where I can't even talk to a woman, but it's, like, when it's kind of a higher stakes like this, I totally break down compared to, like, if it's just someone, someone on the street, like, randomly. I'm like, oh, yeah, she looks kind of she looks kind of neat. Fucking approach, no problem. But this one, I think, again, is a slightly higher stakes situation. And that's when shit kind of starts to break down start getting nervous, stop, uh, start forgetting to breathe, and I just become a tiny bit, tiny bit more awkward than usual. So I was talking to my friend about this, and it's at that point that, obviously, in uh, volleyball, there's also fucking, like, underclassmen, I don't know, team, um, the, the team that's, like, there are different skill levels, basically, and those tend to correspond to, um, like, what age you are, just because that's how it works. And um, one of the freshmen over here had this conversation, and um, he gave me a big old fucking slap on the face that was much needed and kind of took me out of this mode. And it was something to the something to the extent of like, bro, literally just, it's not that big of a deal. Just go ask for a number. If, if there's no point in delaying it. And if she, if she says no, then it's fucking, it's not better to keep it waiting. My guy, and if she says yes, then the sooner you do it, the better. Like, what the fuck? Um, and I can't believe that I, of all people, like, this is the advice I always give to any of one of my friends if they're in this predicament. This is the advice I give on this fucking channel. Just go speak to her. My guy. Please. And, um, I have been following the advice, obviously, in terms of, like, speaking to her, because I'm not very good at, um, like, starting just conversations with people, even if I don't know them previously very well. But I'm not good at, um... I guess doing anything beyond that, anything beyond like a kind of NPC fucking dialogue interaction, because like, in a video game, you don't really, like you interact with the NPC, sure, and I can press that button and then get the dialogue going, but you don't ask them for like the fucking, where they live, shit like that, I don't know what the vi video game equivalent of like asking for contact information would be, um, but that is the next step, and that is the next step that I need to take, as this fucking freshman uh, just gigamogged me and pointed out, because I was coping. I was massively coping, like, eh, no, maybe, maybe I should, and I'm still coping to this day, it's like, maybe I should just, you know, talk to her a bit more, get to know her a bit more. For what, motherfucker, so you can be her friend again? Like, bro. That's just AIDS. Like, I'm gonna be honest, this entire concept of, like, whenever I see, I don't know, whenever I'm talking to a girl and there's, like, a male friend, like, a very obvious male friend who, like, clearly likes her, um, like, invests a lot of time in her, but she doesn't care very much about him, um, and, like, you, you know what's going on, and you know that this guy's probably wasting fucking months, 
<laughs> on this person. And I know this best of all because I was very guilty of doing this once. Um, that was several years ago though, and I fucking learned, and I'm never gonna make that mistake again, thank the lord. So I kind of paid up front for that, and then, you know, <laughs> what, whatever happened there happened. Unfortunate, that's behind us now, that's in the past. Um, and going forward, I will never do this. But <laughs> when I see this, like... Yeah, dynamic of the male friend. It just makes me so fucking... Well, that was the one again. It just makes me so fucking sad. Because, like, y you know exactly... Y you know exactly what the guy wants. You know exactly that the girl does not feel the same way. A and you know precisely, like, bro. Like, you just want to tell that guy, hey, just fucking rip the band-aid off, bro. Just get it over with, please. Like, bam, band-aid ripped off. Oh, no, it hurts for, for a little bit, so... Pussy, what... You're, you're afraid of the- you're afraid of ripping on the- Wow, I just- that was a nice English moment. You're afraid of ripping off the band-aid? Like, okay. I mean, that's your prerogative, sure. But the longer you leave it on, the more it's gonna fucking hurt. So, this is gonna act as kind of like a- <laughs> What's the word? Oh yeah, accountability partner kind of for me this video. And basically, my plan here is, if in the few days I don't- um, I don't post a video saying, like, either it worked or it didn't work, but that's okay. Then I am basically a bitch, and, um, I procrastinated on this, and I let the copes get the better of me. So, if any of you, like, if this video is, like, over a few days old, and there, obviously, there aren't, like, any fucking extr extenuating circumstances, like, I just get hit by a bus tomorrow or something, which won't happen. Like, shut the fuck up, this is the worst excuse ever. And what if, what if I get hit by a cart? No. <laughs> Not gonna happen. So, anyways... Unless there's some very weird circumstance outside of our control. If I don't follow up in a few days with a video about how that went, um, I'm basically a bitch. And I'm gonna need you to all remind me, politely but firmly, in the comment section. Thank you very much. Um, stop coping, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.